Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. As you can see, Saturday I got my resin in my cloth. And here it is Monday morning. And I have about ninety about ninety percent of my fuselage and the cell collapsed. I put two layers of nine ounce tooling cloth over the entire thing. And I wanted to show everybody how this nacelle fit on this fuselage. It's just a perfect fit. This is all working out so nice. And I'll show you on the other side how that's carved into the fuselage. It's just uh, made just perfect. Fits in there like a boat. And I'll take and uh, trim this edge and sand it flush with the foam because it's got a little lip here I don't know if you can see that it's got a little lip so I'll just come in here and trim that I'll sand it flush with my foam and come in here with two more layers of cloth over that I'll let that set up then I can trim this edge then I can do my ends then it will be completely glassed I'm going to have dad make my tail cones we're going to make them out of some hunks of wood, turn them down on the lathe, and I can get the shape I want and not have to glass it or mess with no foam. And uh, this is probably going to paint them. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and do some sanding. I got some sanding to do. So, what am I going to use? A piece of sandpaper? Oh no, that ain't going to cut it. How about one of them little palm sanders? Oh no, that ain't gonna cut it either. We're gonna have to break out daddy on this. I got a nine inch buffer that I got a sanding disc for because all the way around I got my edge where I overlap my cloth. I cut it and it's pretty clean, but still, I've got to feather that edge out. And uh, I sure don't wanna spend a week doing it. So we're gonna break daddy out on that. I'll have this thing sanded in a couple hours. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I got to get a coat of primer on it, and I'm going to use the urethane-based filler primer. It uh, it's, it's really thick and it don't shrink and it covers up this glass piece pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll get a coat on that. And I'm going to get it all wet, sanded with some polishing 220, get it get it down pretty smooth, just about where I want it. And then what I got to do is I got to come in here and cut the nose off. I'm going to cut it to where there's about a five foot section of the nose and I'm going to cut the tail off. And I'm going to cut them out. Me and Dad's going to make a jig and we're just going to take a big old saw and we're just going to cut them off. For molding purposes, shipping purposes, and just this big hauling this big old lug around. It would be real easy to unbolt the nose, unbolt the tail, and ship it where you want to go or and my mold too, my mold won't be so big and heavy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to really thinking about making my centerpiece a four piece. Have it come apart in the center, but lay it up all in one and then just when I'm popping out of my mold I can take these two off in, in smaller sections and uh, be easy to store around the shop here too. But you guys stay tuned, you'll see all that. You'll also see some of my tricks. I got some pretty neat tricks for making uh, recessed gear door hatches and uh, engine covers. Oh, you guys are going to like that. You're going to stay tuned for that. And panel lines. We got a couple tricks we're going to show you on how to make panel lines. And uh, it ain't going to be long, folks. We're going to get this B1 bomber sitting on wheels three, four weeks. I'll have a feast law sitting here. So stay tuned. Tell us what you think of our project, and uh, we'll see you in the shop.